How's it going everybody? My name is Dushan Williams and today we have another video about looking at tech that I bought that I haven't got a chance to use yet. I will someday. Today we're looking at something I wanted to use for my videos when I was going over product and how to best show off the product and kind of more of like a product photography kind of thing and that is a under cabinet LED light kit. LED light kit. So the idea for this guy was I wanted to have a overhead light that I can attach to something or kind of use it for other things where I can light up like small areas and kind of get like a, a nice kind of little glow to the image and stuff. And now that I have kind of like backgrounds like this and kind of like more wooden table, I think some of the pictures and stuff that I could take will probably look a little bit better. And so I had bought this, you know, hoping to use it for. But again, just like everything else, I just haven't got a chance to use it. So today we are going to open it up and have some first impressions on it. So far, the first impression is it's very thin. And to keep in mind, I didn't know how this actually looks because the outside of the box, I'm not sure you can kind of tell there are different kind of images, but not all of them are uniform. So not necessarily the best thing for showing off product. However, here we are now to see what it actually looks like. And it looks like there's actually a few of them. Cool. Well, like there's either this all one big one or it's actually three separate ones. Either way, hopefully it is three separate ones because that would actually be awesome for a lot of different things. We got 3M, what is it? 3M tape, I guess the best way to say it. And some other ways of mounting it. We got all kinds of brackets in there. And you have Few different power cords neat so looking at this i see one uh, ac dc power cord that looks like it actually connects to one another not sure why it does that but looking at it i do believe that these probably do connect to each other based on having one of these and two of these extra ones it looks like you can separate them apart and connect them with one cable and stuff. So I guess you could say it's technically one um, unit broken up to three different parts. So that way you could spread it out and not have them all conjugate. But I feel like these are really long to where if you want them to have it as one long thing, it probably better just to buy an LED sh strip or whatever, because there'd be a little bit of space in between the lights, but the different products for different situations. So. Let's go ahead and open up one of them. First impressions, uh, 6000K, 12 volt DC, not too shabby. Okay, so this part is the LED part right here. It looks like it has a pretty nice diffuser, really pretty tough and everything. So I'm guessing you're gonna probably mount it like this, up on the ceiling or something, put it in the box. Let's see, which one is the, I think they're all, Uniform, no, this one is different. Okay. These two are not different, so this one must be the main one. So if I were to plug this guy to this guy, then this should turn it on. So let's go ahead and go straight into that. There we go, it just lit up like it was nothing. So it took a while. Um, I'm not sure if I really like that, uh, but it does kind of shine. It's really soft, just kind of looking at it. If I Put it this far up, then pretty much you can't see anything. Oh, looks like it's going through some installation stuff. Maybe that's why. Gonna let that go. So from what I see, I could take these and I can put them sideways. I can put them elongated ways. They're kind of meant to be like put one here and I'll pull it out a little bit and then. Like you, you can even do like right next to it, put one like that. So that way you have something that kind of looks like this. So you have them side by side and you can probably hit one area a lot better. And then with one of these, it doesn't matter which one, you could take that one and kind of do it to the same as the other one. So if you had all of these kind of uniform, same size, you would definitely just pow pow. Or actually no, you have to do it the different way. So. Put these on this side and then you have this one be on the other side because you got this side already taken up by something else. So I think that's kind of how it works. Let's see if we can get all three of them turned on. Let's see. 
look at this light. So if you have something like that, you have a pretty good, decent disposure over it. I'm saying probably up to here. This for probably a good height. Um, if you want to kind of light something a little bit below, something like this. Uh, even like this, I think these are really soft even with all three of them together. It doesn't look like they would get overexposed. It would look pretty soft, pretty pleasant. And then up here, it kind of really disappears where you really can't tell. Like, yeah, of course, it's lighting the area, but it's, I would say, like, it, the effect really disappears in this aspect. So they're, I would say, probably like a foot high from what you're trying to illuminate will probably be the best use of this. So I'm kind of just looking at the instructions. I was kind of going back and forth and I was trying to see if there was any way to really control this device. And I honestly do not see a way that one could hit the button. There it goes, I guess. Oh, why? Why didn't you want this show? Let me see. So for some reason in the instructions, that doesn't really tell you how to best control the light, if not at all. It just tells you how to mount it and then be on by your day. But this little like thank you card from whoever sells this that shows you a lot of the other different products shows you right here in the bottom that if you wave your hand over the sensor, that's how you can best control it. So if I do something like this, should turn on, I just had it turn on. Yeah, see, well, if I just cover it some more, then that's what tells it to turn on and off. Things that I can kind of come out from that. So if you lose this guy, the the whole thing doesn't work because all these two are gonna get controlled by this guy no matter what. If you don't have this main part that can actually has the thing, then you're kind of SOL and stuff. So that's kind of interesting in that aspect. Um, there is no remote control to do it, so it is manual. You have to go up there. I would say you could probably put a smart plug um, into the outlet so that way you'd be able to control it with your phone and everything and turn it on and off. But you really couldn't control the brightness of the LEDs. So that itself doesn't really make it as open as I would like it. So my initial impression with this, it's not bad. I wouldn't pay a lot of money for it just because I feel like something like this, it gets to a point where you ask yourself, could you have done this better yourself? Uh, are there better ways of implementing the same thing? I do like that it's really soft. Uh, I wasn't looking for something that was too harsh on something I was trying to illuminate. I was looking for something very soft, but this is definitely not like for like a person. This is definitely for what I was thinking about using it, which would be for items and stuff. So, who do I feel that this could be for? Who do I feel like this is a good candidate for? So I would definitely say if you're looking for something to put on your bookshelves or you're looking for something, if you have to say like a setup, you know, on the wall and stuff and you have particular things that you kind of want to show, um, have some like, light shine on it. It's good that this one can break up into three pieces So like you can actually do it in different cup holes or cubby holes or however you want to say it The only other thing I don't really like about it though is that you can't Change this part to have like different colors going on and everything even though it's an LED light It's you can't really change how cool or hot the temperature of the light is so you're kind of stuck with that if it's really do you want it bright or do you not want it bright that's kind of what you have to go with so it's a very simple product um it is a lot of cabling so it is more things you have to hide when you put it up but i do like the fact that outside of not giving you a hammer they have the screws they have the brackets they have the tapes to put it all on there for all of it so that's always a plus not everybody does that for some reason so I, this is, this is actually a really nice product. I think for what I want to use it for, I think it'll be just fine. I, it just be a little bit to put it around. So that's it for the light under the cabinet thing. I, I, I wish it was a better name, something that's easily searchable. Cause I feel like if you type in under cabinet LED light kit into Google, you'll get a ton of stuff that'll probably pop up. So 
I'll see if I can find the Amazon link and I'll link it up in the video. But if you really like this video, hit the like button, share with your friends. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And thank you for watching today. Hopefully, everything that you saw today will help you make a better and a more informed decision tomorrow. Take care.